In this lesson number one, we're going to have a first look at Hindenburg. Hindenburg is an audio editing system. The point of Hindenburg is to be able to edit audio. This might look something like this. You have audio on multiple tracks. And this is through time. So if I play now, the first thing that's been played is the music. My name is Simon. Simon. Then we have a little bit of the interview. Simon and Kipski. That's Simon Ackerman. And here comes Simone. some narration. So it's playing the audio clips in a certain sequence through time, and depending on which track they are, they will be mixed together. This area here, where we see our audio, is called the workspace. To the top of the workspace, we have our toolbars. Here we can do different things with the audio. Cut, copy, paste, and so on. Over here to the left, we have our track controls. Here we can give a track a new name. We can set the overall level for the track. We can set the balance, left and right, for the track. We can arm a track, so we're ready for recording. Now it's ready for recording. We can mute a track. Let's try to play here. Which means that we basically turn off this track. That's Simone Ackerman. The so now we've muted the track. We go skateboarding and then when we got If we tired. now press solo, that means that we're muting everything else. So we're only listening to what's going on on this track, as we can hear now. Ackerman says the band's music mixes the layered beats popular with his chat. This symbol here means that we have effects. So you can find your favorite effects and apply them. And this little arrow here means that you can use your voice profiler and you can apply uh, your settings to your voice profiler. The voice profiler is something that we're going to get back to in a different tutorial. Underneath here, in uh, the Pro version, you can choose your inputs. This is the input coming into the channel, which means what you're recording from. Currently, I'm recording from the Scarlet. We have our transport bar. Play. With guitars, drums. Stop. Rewind. Go to end. Here we can record. If I press record now, it will say an error. Failed to start record. No tracks are record enabled, which is true because we haven't enabled it. So if I press record now, we can start recording our first narration. Just press stop or space bar to stop the recording. Also something we're going to get back to later. Right now we're just going to get an overview of the basics. Here we have a meter which shows us how loud the audio is. My name is Simon, Simon Ackermans from Simon and Kipski. Moving along, over here we have a counter telling us the time of our current playhead. If I start playing now, just by pressing spacebar. Kipski. We used to go skateboarding and then when we got tired, we just spent hours. So this number here is telling us that the playhead is right now at 21 seconds. If I make a selection, I can do that just by pressing any of these regions here. It turns orange and we get some times. This is the in time for the region, the out time and the total time. So this means that this region here is five seconds long. By pressing a region, as I just did here, this is a way of selecting a region. That is one way to do a selection. Another way of doing a selection is by dragging a selection. I can do that by pressing I for in. And I'm going to move my playhead and do an out marker with O like so. 
now I've created a selection. Once I have a selection, I can do all kinds of things with it. I can adjust the level, like so, or I can cut it out, or a number of different other things. All that we're going to get back to later, just to say that there are, there are two different ways of making a selection. You can either just click on a region, you can move it around, or you can either set in and out markers, or just drag like so, and create a selection and use that selection for something specific. If you go to your view menu, you can open the clipboard, which will show up here. And the clipboard is an area for storing your audio. You can open your markers. Markers are something that you can set in your piece so they're easy to navigate to. In the Pro version, you have the call recorder. I'll just close down these things so we can see what we're doing. The call recorder lets you record directly from Skype. Again, something we're going to get back to later. What else do we have? Yes, we have favorites. Favorites is like the clipboard. It's an area where we can store audio. But the favorites, this is a great place to have your jingles and breakers and what have you, things that you use for your show all the time, because they will follow you the next time you do a new session. These are going to automatically be there. In the chapter view, we are able to set chapter markers, and we can even add images, names, and URLs to our chapters. This is very useful. For, especially for some podcasts, because you can export this in an AAC format or, uh, in some cases, an MP3 format as well. Now, if you're all confused, don't worry about it. In the next lesson, we're going to break it down into really small bits. <laughs>